Okay, and finally our fourth video tutorial. This is the future value of an annuity. So in this situation, what we're talking about here from the answers to those two questions is we have a certain amount of money that each year we're going to invest. What we want to know is what is that amount of money going to grow into in the future? So that's where the future value comes from because that's what we're looking for. And then since we're talking about not putting in money just once, and watching it grow, we're going to be putting money in on an annual basis. So that's where the annuity concept comes in. So future value of an annuity. And again, we have our percentages up top. <clears throat> and we have our periods of time down the left side. Uh, so let's say that we're going to um, be able to put in um, $10,000 a year, we're going to be able to invest at the end of each year, we're going to invest $10,000. And we're going to do that for a period of time that's five years. We're going to have annual compounding, so we do not have to do any adjustments. And let's say we can earn 6%. So here's our 6% column. Here's our five years. Find where those two intersect, and we have our factor here of 5, 6, Three seven one. So if we take that factor, 5.6371, and multiply it by our $10,000 annual payment, we'd get $56,371. So that's the answer to the question. If I put away $10,000 at the end of each year for five years, and I can earn 6% annual compounding, how much will it be? It will be $56,371. Again, the factor multiplied by the payment, 10,000, gives us $56,371 for five years annual compounding and for 6%. Now, if I change this up on you, and I said it was quarterly compounding, Let's not do that because I don't have the number here to make that work. Let's say semi-annual compounding. So semi-annual means twice a year. Every six months we have a compounding period. So what we have to do is we have to multiply the periods because there's two periods a year times five years. That's ten periods. And it's six percent annual, but if every six months we're going to compound, we have to divide the six by two to get three. So now we're talking $10,000 worth of payments. There's going to be 10 of them, not five. There's going to be 10 of them, not five, right? Because we're talking $10,000 twice a year, not once. 3%, 10 periods. We multiply this out, it's going to come out to $114,639. So that's how you would use it if you're talking about um, semi-annual periods.